Today, I'd like to teach you how to find the molecular mass of calcium sulfite. In order to do so, I'm gonna use the handy dandy little table I created. Bam, so the first thing is I'm gonna write down the elements in the compound. So we have calcium, Ca, we have sulfur, S, and we have oxygen, O. The next thing is to write down the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So the subscript of calcium is a one, right? Even if there's nothing there, that does not mean it's a zero. It, it's, it is a one, all right? Uh, same thing for sulfur. The subscript of sulfur is a one as well. And then the subscript for oxygen is a three. So we have three oxygens. Then you're gonna take those number of atoms now and you're gonna multiply it by then the mass of each particular element. So where are we gonna find these masses of calcium, sulfur, and oxygen? You got it, periodic table. Let's take a look. Here's calcium, 40.08. Oxygen is 16. Sulfur is about 32.07. So let's write them in. So calcium is 40.08. Sulfur was 32.07. And oxygen here was 16. Then to find the total mass of each element in the compound here, we're gonna take the mass of that element and multiply it by the number of atoms of that particular element. So the total mass of calcium here is 40.08, that's easy. Total mass of sulfur is gonna be 32.07. Total mass of oxygen then is 16 times three, so now that works out to be 48. And then all we're simply gonna do is just add them together now to find now the total mass of the entire compound. So when we do that, it works out to be about 120.15. And since we're solving for molecular mass, the units here are in terms of AM, that's a W, AM, or that's a U, AMU, all right? AMU, 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 atomic mass units. Thanks for tuning in, really appreciate it. I do hope that helped. And if it did, help us out. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. We'll see you soon. Take care.